And uh, doing a video. So now I'm talking to the video. Burlington Forensic Engineering states that you really should quit going on about the core samples being cracked. They crack like that all the time when you drill them. No matter what the condition of the concrete, it means nothing. So if you guys look up Burlington Forensic Engineering, that's what they say, right? So it says it means nothing. They crack like that all the time. So those cracks we see in that structure for the core samples, they mean nothing. So you shouldn't even bother taking a core sample because it'll mean nothing no matter whichever way it goes. Let's, let's have a little fun now. Let's use the NTSB's core sample of the collapsed bridge structure. Huh. Well, they don't look cracked up like that, like the guy just, the forensic engineer just said. Burlington, whatever, Burlington, um, Burlington. Huh. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Burlington Forensic Engineering? Well, it appears that you are getting you you should possibly think of another field. You know, if you don't you don't understand cracks obviously. And you don't know how to even evaluate how you can prove your own statement or disprove your own statement. So I try to prove your statement. So I go to bridge cracks searching um, under uh con no, wait, where's the search engine? Under uh, that we'll, we'll get to that. It's three four tabs. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. This is under bridge crack decks, cracking of decks. This is a search, and lo and behold, the uh, our sample looks like performs and behaves sort of like a sample, like a bridge deck, doesn't it? Look at the cracking in these bridge deck samples through here. They look like our junk. Oh, well, here's a nice one though. But under Burlington says. They crack like that all the time. Not some of the time, most of the time, periodically. It's all the time when you drill them. No matter, so I don't know what he's drilling with. Is he drilling with a hammer drill? Maybe that's what he's drilling with, buddy. Maybe you're drilling with a hammer drill. They will crack if you do a hammer drill. You know, you're not supposed to be using a hammer drill to, to do your sent your core samples. But look at this company here. They, they got concrete samples. They don't look all cracked up. There's a bunch of them. Hell, look at that. There's a bunch of them. Huh. There's a whole bunch of them. So, yeah, you're talking about gaslighting or lack of skills. And forensic engineering is, is not, his not his bag, baby. So, apparently, if he thinks it cracks like that all the time. They just drilled through here, took some core samples through, you, through the rebar. And I don't see cracks all around this thing happening, propagating from this hole. As I look inside the hole, I don't see that mirrored cracking system that uh, this person states exists. Yeah, in fact, they, they, if you buy one of these blades, they brag about how smooth they can cut and will cut the rebar. And, and it looks like that when you're done with your core sample. Not like the bridge deck version of it where they're all cracked up like this. So we got somebody else that's full of shit that uh, apparently is lacking, in my opinion, um, it, or the narrative is crazy. This, I find this is a beautiful sample. I want to show you. This is an epoxy injection, and he took a core sample of the epoxy injection. Wow, that's that's pretty. That is pretty. All right, just thought I'd show you that one. So back here, here are the core samples again. Huh. Do not get core samples mixed up with mud samples or dirt samples when you go looking for this, if you Google it. Stay with the concrete, and try to stay with concrete core samples on bridge decking, or decking, not, not on uh, flat surfaces. But, never, but you could. You can go anywhere you want to find it, because apparently, not apparently, as a matter of fact, he says, you really should stop, you really should quit going on about that core sample being cracked. They crack like that all the time. When you drill them, no matter what the condition of the concrete, it means nothing. So Burlington Forensic Engineering, I find them meaning nothing to me. They have their site. They do whatever they do. I find them, I, you know, my, my recommendation for anybody looking for uh, forensic engineering would not be this company. Would not be, would not be this company. They're out of uh, apparently Pennsylvania, wherever, uh, Florida. I would not recommend this company. 
based on that one guy alone, or girl, or whatever it is, coming in there, commenting to me, telling me what I should not do, and making a public statement about it. So, I counter your public statement with, uh, prove your, prove it. Prove it. That means you're going to have to disprove all these cracks, uh, all these beautiful core samples, because you state it, it cracks like that all the time. So, this is what I'm talking about, guys, with... When, uh, you know what they call a doctor who graduates last in their class, they call him doctor. You know what they call an engineer that graduates last in their class? Engineer. You know, it's just, it's, it's just terrible, you know, what's going on out here. That a lot of these engineers, uh, like you see the new engineer out here, the guy that from Europe. I guys, I see, I see a link, you're sending it to me. He now, he now went from 800 subscribers, he's up to 3,000 something. And, but he makes it clear in his first video that he's just getting into forensic engineering from a structural, that he's just getting into it. And instead of, instead of learning, it appears he's presenting already. So you're just getting into it and you're already presenting, um, presenting, making presentations. So I'm confused about that. Forensic engineering would, would be able to duplicate things like this, this crack, these bi-directional cracks here. Well, this appears to be this way and that way. You can give me this sample, and I can tell you how these cracks came about if I also know where they came from, if I can see the inside walls also. And we can look at it. I can start telling you where these cracks came from. We know it's a core sample, so this, this is, you can see right here, these two don't, these don't match. They do not match. So we've got some grinding and separation going on here. Over here, the same thing. You see, they, they don't match. These surfaces... Have been doing some swish and swashing, right? That's swish wash, swish wash, technical term. Over here, we don't have any swish washing, but we got the the crack coming down from the rebar uh, upwards. So you're going to get your your deflection, and and it shows the weakest point. It, it, just like you make a control joint, and I'll prove this in future videos, and I think I've proved it to many people in real life that this is basically a control joint you just put in here inside the center of your concrete. And so when it flexes, you now gave it a point, a smaller section, bisection, to crack. Think about that. It's so simple. It's so simple. If I were to try to flex this thing, flex this right there, where would it flex? Well, it would be the bond breaking section here, and the crack would be above it. Well, sort of like this one here, coming up this way. And that still looks nice, but it's been it's been cut, so I don't see it swelling. I don't see it jacking off the concrete. Yes, I said that. That'd make it a little more fun. But it happened, those core samples are like that all the time. Well, you got to talk to NTSB because these core samples they just pulled out of a collapsed structure, they look beautiful. So, uh, I mean, they look they look beautiful. I, I don't see them crack like that all the time. They've gone through some rebar right here. You can see them cutting through the rebar, uh, the post tensioning. And I don't, and it crashed. And I don't, and you said it's all the time. So I, I don't get that statement. I, I get the statement in that, you know, you, you're coming in here trying to control the narrative and you are using your own, uh, you're using your name as part of your, uh, um, remember I told you guys look up the halo effect? I, I don't do the halo effect, all right? You either, you either like my data and you make a decision on your own. But I'm not going to give you my full history and background because that would be so biased because if I did that, you would be like, oh my gosh, this guy, whatever he says, he's, he, it's got to be true. It's got to be true. He, look at his history. Look at his bio. But maybe I'll leave out some bad things. You know, I'm not, maybe I'll leave out some of my mistakes. And so my bio will look great. And my mistakes, actually, you guys see them. So um, there's no, uh, I don't really have, my mistakes are always something I learn from. So they're not really, they're like a stepping stone. Uh, as I forget who said it, that, uh, they're not mistakes. They're learning lessons or something like that. Um, so, no, that's why I don't do the halo effect. I'm not going to come on here and give you my brag. I'm not, I could my bragging rights on on things, uh, you know, like, uh, um, yeah, I can't even do that because it's sort of, you're going to have to just figure that out on your own. If you don't like my, I, I want you to figure out this data that, that like some stranger is just giving it to you and you're able to figure it out. I don't want you to come at it like, oh yeah, his background, what he says is true. No, I want you to come at it questioning, questioning my, my, my statements such as, 
such as, uh, you know, the, the concrete thing. I question it. When he said all crack, all, all, the, all the cores come out like that, I know it's not true. In fact, our little teaser of my, my video tonight is in here. We're going to go over. We're going to, it's down here. We're going to go over cracks again. It's going to come at 9 o'clock tonight. We're going to go over this crack here and how all cracks mean something. And, and I have a bunch of samples. And we're going to go over the reinforcement. We're going to go over and just a little scrub real quick. We're going to see that little my hand. We're going to talk about that crack and that it means something. It's not just a freak. You don't get it for free, right? You know my stating, statement. You don't get anything for free. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over how I'm going to show that crack, how it propagates. We're going to go over the failure of it. We're going to load. We're going to load a, a, tonight on the videos. We're going to load some cracks. Hold on, let me see if I give you a quicker thumbnail further up. But these cracks all mean something. You see that crack there? What does that crack tell you to that special engineer that thinks he's going to come on here and, and outdo me? I'll tell you what, we can go live, one-to-one -one live, on, in a live chat, on a live thing here, and we can talk about this collapse. You share, and, and, I, and I won't be insulting there in that, in, that, in that battle, but you tell me your, your way of this collapse happening. And I'll tell my way, and we'll let the audience all watch too. And of course, they won't decide; they'll decide on their own individually. But if, but if I can't convince you that you don't know what you're talking about with with this, then you've made what I call conclusive files. But on the other hand, if you can convince me that that what I'm looking at is not what I'm looking at, that you that not all core samples crack up as you stated, so I would call you a narcissist, a gaslighter, a liar. Because if you don't know that by now, if you don't know that by now, then I have to take back the liar part. But if you know that all core samples don't crack like that, then you're lying. So it's not e and that's publicly me stating that, saying that if you don't, if you know that all core samples don't crack like that, then you, then you know that you're lying. So look at this crack here in this little thumbnail here. What does this tell you guys when you look at it? Forensically, since we're going to use that word. What does it tell you? Look at that crack. Take, take, really, take a look at it. I want to give you a second to look at the crack. Follow the crack. I'll give you hints. Follow the crack up. As you follow it up, what do you notice? It skips. It skips something there, doesn't it? What is that something? What is that something? What can you theorize that something to be? Well, a stone. So if it skips the stone and yet I have a crack, what does that tell you? It tells you that the tension is not great enough to crack that stone. So it can go around the stone. These are samples also. These are all cut. These are deep cut samples. But I just want to show you how you would look at things forensically and figure out things such as what does this tell you? What does this one little cut tell you right there? It talks. It's talking. It's screaming at you. That part that's missing tells you it was a compressive moment that blew it out when this hit the ground. That some some chip or whatever got it and it got between there as it came back down and dislodged that piece of concrete, spalled it out not wire or anything else, and the, it ejected out. But this is what this is what I've got to put up with sometimes with some of the trolls over here that are uh, that 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 have a professional expert professional expert um, um, opinion. Look at all these samples here. Well, wow, they don't look all cracked up like that. So I'm telling you guys, be careful of these people that come out here like this, like this guy here, like this company here. Be careful. Be careful. You know, yeah, you know, they're, uh, they, they, it's, uh, if this is the same person, and if it's not that company, they need to claim this name and get it, get it, get it taken care of. And if it's not that company, they can contact me, and we'll put a disclaimer down there that it's not that company, and they need to also put a disclaimer that this person does not represent them. Or do they represent them? I'm confused because I can track it down and they rep when you search it, it comes up to that company. So that's fair game because I want to know if I was just talking to somebody that was just changed their name temporarily to, to, to troll me. And apparently, no. It apparently to be a real deal. Again, they crack like that all the time you drill them. No matter what the condition of the concrete. It means nothing. Gaslighting or lying, curse, 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 guys. You know, I'm, I'm cutting my cursing down. So 10 curses were 100%. So 
If I curse 11 times, that would be 10%. This, this video contains 10% more cursing. But if I just use the word curse, 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 well, that's no curse. I'm not cursing, am I? But you know I'm cursing. All right, so Google can't catch on to my cursing. I find this disgusting. 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 And I'm going to post this now. You guys tell me what you... I, 